Welcome back to the channel, this is DJ Andy of Direct Disco Services and here we are doing another tutorial on the new Mark Mix Track Pro which you'll see behind me here. So I've connected everything up to the TV, I've got my laptop ready now. Now there's nothing on the screen here because it's projected to the, to the actual TV screen here so you can see it a bit more clearer and we have the new Mark Mix Track Pro 2 here. Now what we're going to do today is set the audio side up on the on the new Mark Mix Track Pro because um, there's a few settings you need to go through to get this to work via your mixer and your headphones. So what you need is a set of RCA plugs here. Now these are the the um, RCA to RCA type. So you whatever connection your mixer is or your amplifier or whatever you're using to amplify the sound through your speakers um, you will need the equivalent on the other end rather than the RCA's on this end now you will also need headphones which are here these are just a basic set of headphones not expensive um, they're fairly cheap these ones actually so these are the ones I use I quite like them though so them's what you need and I don't think you need much else other than these couple of leads so we're just going to go through the setup process of plugging the leads in and then we'll get back to the actual virtual DJ and the new Mark Mix Track Pro so okay guys we're around the back of the new Mac Mark Mix Track Pro 2 and as you can see we already have the USB port plugged in and we have two RCA ports here one is red and one is white the um, actual plugs are black and red so what we will do is use the black one in the white and the red one in the red one so we know that where the red one is correct now there's no incorrect way of doing that that is just so color coded so that you know which is the right hand channel and which is the left hand channel um, it depends what color they are on the leads you've got but there's always a red one as far as I know um, and then the other one's either black or white and it, it's, it's not too hard to go wrong at that if you use them that way around always put the red one in the red one and do the same at the other end wherever you are plugging that into either your mixer amplifier your speakers or, or whatever you are using to project the sound into the speakers okay we're now at the side of the mix track pro 2 and you can see there is a couple more plug sockets here for you to see um, starting with this this is a knob it's the mic gain so there is a 6.3 jack there to plug a microphone into and at the side of that this is a headphone socket and as well that is a headphone socket so you have a 6.3 and a 3.5 jack now the headphones that I use have a 3.5 there you see you could just see that there and that just simply plugs into the side there so your headphones are now plugged in if you wish to have a microphone as well plugged in you can plug that in there but there is only a 6.3 um, socket ready for the microphone to go into okay there you go there's the leads set up all nice and ready to go so we're ready to open up virtual DJ now obviously this, this is the laptop that the virtual DJ is installed on and here I have the big TV so you can see whereabouts it is on the screen when I'm using the screen and here we have the new Mark Mix Track Pro 2 which is connected to the laptop as you can tell it is all lit up ready to go showing it that the power being um, applied to it so it's, it's all lit up ready to go so what we'll do is open up Virtual DJ this is version 7 it takes a few seconds for it to start loading onto the screen and um, we should be there shortly here. <laughs> so okay here we go with the virtual DJ7 this is the standard layout of virtual DJ7 Pro um, this is now working with the new Mark Mix Track Pro 2 this if you remember from the other video that I did was set up through mappers which you have to download and place into the file sections where you need them then once you've done that and connected all the leads up to the laptop and through your amplifier and everything you're ready to configure it to the virtual DJ 7 Pro so you basically you've got your crossfader there there you can see the crossfader moving up and down and um, you've got the the faders as well 
they're now compatible with virtual dj7 so uh, th there's no problem now with playing the music through it it's just a case of getting it set up and ready to go so you can use it if you're using it for mobile djing or in your bedroom or whatever you're doing with it go to this section here where it says config you go up there you open this then you will see that you have several drop downs let me zoom in there so you can see okay we're now in the drop down box section of the setup of the sound so it wants to be set up on sound setup which is this tab here which is the first one it should automatically come up on the sound one first so you should have no problems finding what you need to do now this drop down box here says master channel one and two forward slash headphones channel three and four now that's the one that you need to be on for the headphones to work through the other deck you will see on this drop down box it says headphones you will see a picture of a laptop a picture of a head headphones and you will see a little speaker now that is what that is depicting there that channels one and two that's your left and right that we we plugged into are now sending the sound through to one and two and the headphones is channel three and four which is what was we connected the headphone sockets into the sound card will say new mark there now if we click the drop down box you will see several different options for different sound cards so this will automatically detect new mark sound card which is basically what the controller is it is a sound card that is controlling virtual dj it is replacing the mouse in a lot of respects for virtual dj so you can basically play your tracks through it and mix them and do what what you need to do to operate your virtual dj without the, the aid of a mouse i still use a mouse for finding the tracks through the files and everything rather than using the virtual dj but i will get into that in a minute on what some of the controls do on the actual control panel so once that is set up you just click apply there once that's clicked it should apply those settings and click OK. OK guys I've now put a track into deck A and a track into deck B over here to show you how this actually works once you've set up the um, audio side of it as you can see the track is now spinning behind me so if I was to use the jog wheel there I am now basically jogging that around a little bit and uh, you can see I'm now controlling it through the uh, the mix track pro 2 so that you can actually control that now that is the track that the audience would be hearing so if you're doing a party now and i'm playing around like that all you will hear is me messing about with that track and everybody in the room will hear that now obviously i don't have any speakers in the room with me at the moment so you can't actually hear that it's just basically playing that track and you've got to imagine the music playing however we do have track b and we do have some headphones so if you was out on on a night doing a a gig now you'd be able to play this track it's just stopped so we'll just press play on that again there you see it's playing again and we'll press play on deck b and i'll hold i'll hold the headphones up so you can hear You get the idea don't you so basically now we're hearing through the headphones what's playing in deck b um the audience can't hear that so you can kill the tracks up quite simply just by doing that so okay here's the new mark mix track pro 2 layout as you can see there are several knobs you can play with on this um you've got your bass your mid and your treble there that's for each deck you have several at the top these are all effects buttons that you can use for your re-loops and your DJ drops if you want to play them through it. Um, you have the browse function here as I mentioned earlier that I will just quickly demonstrate how to use this. This just basically acts like your mouse like I said before. Um, in a lot of respects it is just easier to use the mouse 
because it's a bit of a fiddle it. But anyway, we'll do this anyway. It's just keep your eye on the left hand here and we're simply twisting this control knob here and as you can see the file selections are going up and if I turn it back the other way they will come back down so what we'll do is just drop that desktop music that says and if I press that now it will go into the files over here so now I can control that from here and say if I want to add that to the playlist it will now go over there into deck A and you can simply just play that through deck A if you wanted to um, or you can press this button here which says load A there's also a load B uh, but depending on which deck you want to do it clear if you want to go back from there to there you just press this back button and it will go back over to that side and you can choose through your files whatever you want to do because I tend to when people provide me with a playlist I will have it listed in here somewhere so that I can just access it easily um, fairly simple really so there we go with the virtual DJ tutorial on how to set up the new Mac Mixtrap Pro 2 with virtual DJ software um, yeah it, it, it took a while to get it sorted out and working for me and um, as, I, as I've been using this at a few gigs now, uh, I found it quite easy to use. Uh, it, you know, I have a case to put it in and I set it up on the stand. As if you've watched some of my gig logs, you will see this in operation on some of the gig logs. It works for me. It might not work for you. You can use whatever control you want. But there are quite a few people out there who have probably bought one of these. That um, you know they're now becoming quite a bit cheaper on the market. So and then they get it home and it doesn't work with Virtual DJ. Well, these are the reasons why it doesn't work with Virtual DJ is because it has to be set up correctly with Virtual DJ software. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There will be many more videos coming in the future. So don't forget to hit that subscribe channel so this is me dj andy signing out for now and i'll catch you guys again later in another video